There's Kevin. Already. Morning routines, rolling things up. It's so funny just to wake up in a neighborhood with houses really, really close. I guess we've done it a few times on this trip, but this one really feels like we are right next to everybody's houses and they're probably like, who are those bums in the tent in the Greenway? You see, Kevin has one of these things called oh, a chain come on. that he actually has to lube. What's up? <laughs> I was very jealous yesterday and I felt like I wasn't part of the team when everybody had their belt, belt drives on. And I'm here with a squeaky chain. Are you in the frame? He's a little taller. <laughs> It is time for another goodbye. Kevin is heading off to the airport. Yeah. Why? Why are you leaving? Just kidding. We know why he's leaving. He's got things to do. And thank you so much for coming, man. Absolutely. It was really fun riding with you and getting yeah, to know was. you better. And I loved your spirit and your attitude. And you overcame a lot of pain, man. Oh, yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. So uh, I'll yeah. see you down the road. Ragbri? Yeah. Ragbri next year is the Rag plan. Ragbri next Thanks year. Thanks for the invite. I know that. It's a little scary sometimes just inviting someone that you don't really know that well on something this personal. Yeah. We spent the last 14 days 24 7 together. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> or something like that, but it was a blast. I had an absolute great time. We're going to look back on this experience 10 years from now and be like, God, that was pretty cool. Because you yeah. never know when this will happen again. Yeah. It might not ever happen again. So we yeah. really got to like hold on to this experience and uh, just, you know, I appreciate it, man. Absolutely. You're a good one, bro. Absolutely. You're a good Thank one. You, Ryan. Oh. Is that my donut? No? Thank you so much for having me at your house. I loved hanging out with you guys. You guys ready? You gotta start training for your bike ride with me. Ready? You got the donut part down for sure. You guys are so shy when I turn on the camera. I loved hanging out with you. I love making s'mores. And we'll see you another day, okay? Okay. Hi, how Ryan. You, how you doing? put some stuff on my bike and let's go let's go yeah oh sweetness I like the blue shorts today the whole outfit I just put on everything I have this <laughs> is it this is what I'm rolling with right here Silverthorne is known for its outlet malls there's the polo Ralph Lauren Dana do you need anything from polo okay all right Dana Ready? No crashies, no flatties, no whammies. This is a beautiful area. There's a reason why people from all over the world come here to ski. Vales up the road, Beaver Creek, Keystone, all the big Colorado ski resorts. Ole, 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 ole. Oh, it's been so long. You see these remote back bike packing trips don't take you under many tunnels. I <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. I hope you sing along when I do these Olays. And when you do an Olay out there in the world, send it to me on uh, Twitter or Instagram. I love seeing you guys Olaying. cool bike path right next to Dillon Reservoir. I'd always seen this next to the road and hoped to ride it someday and here we are. We are now in the mountain town of Breckenridge and they've closed down Main Street to cars and let the restaurants spill out with their tables. I like to see it. Most people in Colorado are wearing masks. Much different scene than Wyoming and Montana. I would say 99% of people I see are wearing masks, which is a good thing. It's because of our Governor Polis. Good leadership. Oh, check this out. All right, here we go, Dana. Here we go. This is the start of Boreas Pass. I think it's gonna take us to about 11,500 feet, 10 miles of up but I've heard it's a fairly gentle grade. So 
We're just gonna take it slow. This is another Colorado first for me. Boreas Pass, never been here before. We have a surprise special guest, Cynthia, what's up? Hey! <laughs> so Cynthia met us in town and said she had to go to work. And then uh, she showed up, she's like, screw it. <laughs> it's not every day I get to ride up a mountain with Dana. And Ryan. And Ryan. So she's here to join the party. This is Rocky. This is Rocky when you were riding with him. I know. Look at that. Thanks. And you were there when he passed. Yeah, I know. In the room. I know. I know. I can't believe it's been like nine years and I still get so emotional. But I just thought like this is such a beautiful spot. And we, Rocky and I skied Breckenridge so much as kids. Uh -huh. You know? Oh. So let's do it. This is where he wants it to be. He is all over the world, man. I know. Okay, shout out for Rocky. I love you, Rocky! Rocky! Here we go. I miss you. Here we go. We didn't get enough rides Woo! together. Yeah. Do you think Rocky would have liked bikepacking with us? Oh, God, he would have loved it. He would have loved it so much. You know this story. Your viewers might know this story, but he was my brother, and um, I gave a kidney to him, and... Uh, it was awesome. Like his life was amazing and awesome. And for five years, he just rocked that little organ. But he's with me always, right here. Go Dana, go Dana. Yeah. It's your birthday. It was your birthday two weeks ago. Can I tell them your age? Oh yeah. Dana turned 59 years old, all right? And she is a total badass in every sense of the word. We are really close to the top. Woo, man, it is beautiful up here. We are high, Rocky Mountain High. This is the highest I've been on this route so far. Good job, Dana. Nice. Good job. Good job. We did it. We did it. Oh, I love you too. You don't even know what oh, that no. meant to me. That was so sweet. Aww. Oh my God, it was so great. You know, I was, I was feeling like, I don't know, yesterday that ride took it out of me a little, you know, that first ride. And, and then we got a slow start today. I'm all kind of blah, blah, blah. And then you bought that stupid stuff for lunch. It's like lettuce. <laughs> I was trying to be healthy, Dana. I ate so much junk food the last I'm three days. Sorry. Like, I need vegetables. I found some veggie sushi. Okay, that's the first time that I actually told Ryan he bought a stupid lunch. Like, it was just like lettuce. But it, and I was like, well, I guess I'll have this pack of almonds. Anyway, I'm eating now. But when she showed up, wasn't that great? It was yeah. just like this pump yeah. of energy like oh, totally. my total like my little mighty might friend what do you say we ride downhill let's do it So 
we're down the backside of Boreas Pass now, and it's kind of bizarre. The landscape is completely different from over the Breckenridge side, which was ski resort alpine world. Now, it looks kind of deserty out there. Very cool. Thank you so awesome. much. Awesome. Thank you so much. So Dana and I are going through this tiny, tiny town called Como, and Dana's like, we need water. I'm like, well, let's go find somebody. And I see this car right here, and I'm like, hey there, how's it going? Do you know a place to get water? She's like, I have water for you. Yeah. And then I see a Swedish flag on the back of her I car, and I'm like, do you love Sweden? Are you Swedish? And then we start Sweet speaking Swedish. Oh, so Sveria, cool. Fantastic. Hey, yo, Sveria. I <laughs> <laughs> love it. So we've been sitting here talking Swedish for the past five minutes. It's not often I get to prata svenska. Yeah. Oh, har du lingonsilt? Oh, you must have come home today. <laughs> We're talking about uh, lingonberries. You probably had that jelly. You've heard of that jelly. It's so good. But in the middle of nowhere, I meet a Swede. She's a trail angel. She is a trail angel. I don't know how you say that in Swedish, but mm. she's a trail angel. Yeah. Stig. Stig is trail. I don't know. Stig Engel. Stig Engel. Yeah, Stig Engel. <laughs> All the visa medska Sverige klappa nu. Hey, hey. Yes, I know. So this road couldn't be better. This road is amazing right now. After climbing most of the day, we have a tailwind going slightly downhill. Dana, how you feeling? Woo! Feeling fast. It's a nice evening just to coast. We barely have to pedal right now. It is just, the wind is pushing us. Pushing us somewhere special. You keep me steady, ship on the sea. You anchor me down and you flow next to me. Honey, I'm ready, I know what I need And I know what you mean to me I know what you mean to me So it's 7 p.m. and we're still riding our bikes because we're having a hard time finding a campsite. We are in ranch land and on both sides of the road there's barbed wire fence and we've just been riding and riding and riding and hopefully gonna find a break in this somewhere where we can go hide and pitch a tent. It feels like we're in the middle of nowhere, but it's all owned and it's private land, unfortunately. Campsite! Campsite, where are you? Oh, <laughs> yeah! Okay, I know that it seems like we all know each other, but we don't. We've just met, and this is how it happened. Dana and I were riding and riding and riding, looking for a place to camp, and I saw some RVs off on the distance, and I rode up and asked if we could camp near them, and the camp host said, yeah, of course you can, and then these two came flying out of their Airstream, and they were so excited because they actually knew who I was and Dana because they are fans of the channel. This is trail magic. This is trail magic right here. How you doing, bro? What's going on? Where are we? What is this called? Yeah, so we're in uh, we're in Hartsville, Colorado right now. Yeah. Um, this is like the, the heart of Colorado. Um, my wife Chelsea and I, we just got some land out here and um, just wanted to open it up to people. And um, yeah. This is so incredible. Bro. So you're staying at Camp Indigo and yep. in Compound Brown. That was so amazing because I told you like we just kept rolling and rolling. I'm like, I feel like something amazing is gonna happen. And then this happened. <laughs> wow, we're at Camp Indigo. It's like the happiest place on earth. <laughs> so awesome. Yeah, and seriously, we're far away from the road. And, and there's a dining room table. There is a dining room table. <laughs> Oh, this is wonderful. Good work, Dana. Life's good, another, Ryan. Another beautiful day on planet yep. Earth. Yep. I am continually in awe of how the universe just provides sometimes. You know, it just makes me happy. And it uh, really helps reinforce my faith in humanity that people are good and people want to help and uh, it makes my heart grow, it makes my heart swell, which is, this is always a good thing. And now we have a beautiful sunset. 
We even have a dinner table out here. Yeah, we do. Check it out. What are we eating for dinner, Dana? We are having refried beans that are heated up, cheese, green chili, taco, like street taco tortillas, Cholula. We got it all. Oh, look at that. So, right on. So good. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, yeah. So my guy Demo right here, we're talking, and he says he was a Peace Corps volunteer in Malawi, Africa. Yes, sir. That Peace is so Corps, cool. Peace Corps Malawi, yes, That's so yes, cool. Yes, What'd you do there? What was your project? Uh, I was an environmental volunteer, uh, bringing sustainable agriculture and bringing biodiversity to the community, as well as teaching the youth about sustainable agriculture practices. Yeah. And what do you do in Atlanta? Uh, so right now I'm getting my master's in uh, herbal nutrition and holistic nutrition. Uh, right now I start community gardens in different neighborhoods and help teach the youth about sustainable agriculture as well yeah <laughs> <laughs> can you believe this guy's an all-star I love it man Thank what you. a magical night it totally was yeah it totally was uh, well good night good night Ryan good night, Dana. if you get cold you can come in your tent <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm sharing my very small tent with Ta Dana tonight because yeah. that's the kind of friend I am that's right well, this has certainly been one of the most unexpected nights of my entire trip. And it's been so wonderful. We just sat around a little heater, had a little campfire experience, and we talked about what we want our legacies to be when we leave this planet. And we talked about love and authenticity. And it was just like, how did we all come together at this one spot tonight? total magic and I feel again I've said it a lot this entire adventure very very grateful and fortunate to be here to be having these experiences and meeting these people just really warm kind-hearted people and uh, I'm gonna go to bed real happy tonight a little sticky a little sweaty didn't jump any water today but very very happy I've never seen a white buffalo before. But check that one out. That's amazing. <laughs>